Welcome to the Halo Sports Halftime Show, where we talk about what's happening and what happened at the St. Thomas Aquinas community. I'm Emily. I'm Philip, And I'm Jordan. And welcome, welcome to, to the, the Saints, Saints Roundup. Roundup. We have lots in store today. Let's start off with Tim Zandy interviewing our legendary soccer coach, Craig Ewing. Kicking it to you, Tim. Tim Zandy, coming to you here from the Learning Commons. I'm here with Coach Ewing, coming off the big opening playoff win over Paola Tuesday night. Coach, congrats on the win. Tell us a little bit about the game. Who stood out to you, and, and what are you excited for going on in the playoffs? Uh, it was 8-0 eight, eight over Pittsburgh. Okay, so, um, that, that's, yep. and, yeah, and Consuegra picked up a couple of goals, and then, but we got, you know, six other goals from every, almost the whole team contributed, and the whole, the whole team played almost an equal amount of minutes, so it was a good, good start for us. They were number three seed, but uh, hadn't played at quite the competition we had, I don't think. Yeah, absolutely. And, it, and it's always good to get those guys involved early in the playoffs, get the minutes, rest a lot of your other guys. Going into tonight, you have Baser and Linwood tonight. What are you looking for out of the guys? What should you expect? Yeah, Baser, um, one thing we know is that they play on a very small field. It is turf, so but it's basically a football field a little bit wider, maybe 62 where I was at 75. So we're looking, we worked a lot on set pieces last night, throw-ins, things that we can take advantage of with that shorter, with that narrower field. So that's what we're going to look forward to do tonight, put some dead balls in on them. Absolutely. That, that's a special, right? Yeah, it is a special. Now, hey, everything goes as planned, game plan comes through. As you guys talked about, what would be the next steps after tonight? Next step would be state quarters um, which on Tuesday. And if the seeds hold, we would play Sumner. If Sumner gets upset, we'd probably play Blue Valley Southwest. So, But tonight we're going for like 31st regional title and 21 in a row. Awesome. Well, hey, Coach, congratulations tonight and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Tim. Next up, let's talk about some Saints volleyball. Today we have Gigi talking with Eikenberry and Betsy. Why don't we pass it over to Gigi? I'm here with Betsy our senior, one of our senior captains. So Betsy, what are some traditions you have here for the Aquinas Volleyball? So one of the traditions we have is every year when we go to state, we dress up in costumes and like have fun themes for practice. And today's practice theme is emo. So it's really not a phase, but. <laughs> what do you guys do to prepare for practices and games and especially this big game coming up on Saturday? Um, I think we just, try to make every play and every practice intentional and you know we make sure we're doing the little things like communication and just remember to have fun too because when we have fun we play better. What does unfinished business mean for the, the team? So basically last year at state we got third and we should have won and that, so we have a little bit of unfinished business we have like a state championship to win so I'm excited. What do you have to say to all the Saints watching this right now? Um, come support on Friday and Saturday. We play at 1 p.m. on Saturday. So you guys can like leave your house at like 10 and still come to the game. It'll be great. I'm here with Coach Eikenberry, our head coach here at Saints Volleyball. Coach, how many years have you been a part of the Saints Volleyball community? Um, I have been coaching here for 25 years, I think, but head coach for eight. We also know that you're an alumni. Did you play volleyball here when you were here? I did, yes. So add four on for that. <laughs> the girls' theme this year is unfinished business. What does that mean to the team? So last year was a disappointing end for us, um, not finishing where we thought we should have. And so the girls came up with a theme. Our captains always, our seniors, come up with a theme. And um, without them knowing it, um, they picked a theme that um, one of our previous state champions had picked, um, which was exciting for me because they didn't know that that was the theme when we won. So um, hopefully they could finish business this year. To all of our fans who don't really know much about volleyball, how does Friday work with the pool play? Mm -hmm. So there are eight teams from 5A that made the state championship and there's two pools, so those um, two pools will play and the top two teams from both of those pools will make it to Saturday. So three games on Friday and if you're one of the top two teams, you make it to Saturday and you play semis and then the finals. What has been your favorite part about coaching this team? Um, this team is really a team. I feel like in past years there's always been, I don't know, 
one or two people that are kind of the stars and I feel like this year they all kind of are um, and they all like truly just support each other and care about the other one doing well um, even people competing for the same position cheer each other on more than they cheer anybody else on so it's just been a cool environment starting off with Halo Sports I'm Gigi back to you guys Wow, thank you, Gigi. That was amazing. The girls' volleyball are actually live in action right now in Salinas, so let's all remember to say a prayer for our girls and hope for the best. Guys, have you ever heard about cross country? I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. actually, I was in cross country. Oh, my goodness. Philip, tell us about it. Well, Sophia Spinello and Colby King were EKL and regional champs last weekend. Wow, wow. that is so that's, impressive. Yeah, they are just awesome. so talented and amazing. Emily. You should run over and have an interview with Coach Wrigley. I'll go do that right now. Coach Wrigley, Coach Wrigley, can I interview you? Yes, absolutely. How long have you been coaching cross country? This is my 22nd year coaching cross country and my 17th as head coach. Wow, that is amazing. And why do you continue to coach cross country? Because I know that it's an all year long season and you have to get up super early in the morning to do it. Yeah, uh, because the kids are so dedicated and they're so much fun to work with. Uh, we do run year-round, but part of it's for track, part of it's for cross-country, but we run all summer to get ready for the season. We run before school, after school. But the main reason is because the kids are awesome. They're the best people to be around. I like the assistant coaches. I like the coaches we coach against. It's just a really good community and a really fun sport. So I know tomorrow is your state championship meet. How is the team looking and how are you feeling? Uh, we're looking good and I'm really excited. The kids have been preparing hard for a long time now and now they get to go test themselves in the course against the time, against the course, and against their competition. And I think both squads will be ready when it's time to go. They've had a great year so far and we're looking to see if we can uh, rise the occasion tomorrow at the state meet. Awesome. How does it feel? I know you got, you have two runners, Sophia Spinello and Colby King, that are EKL and regional champions. How does that feel? Well, that's really fun. Colby and, and Sophie have done a great job, and as well as their teammates, uh, doing the best they can this year. And they put in a lot of hard work, run a lot of miles, and now it's paying off for them. And they're running their, their very best races when it matters the most. And they've got one more tomorrow, and we hope it goes really well. Awesome. Well, thank you. But thank you so much, Wrigley, for the amazing interview. Last for today, we have two of our star football players in the Halo studio today with Demetrius. Over to you guys. Hi, I'm Demetrius. Welcome back to the STA Halftime Show. I'm here with Sean Carroll and Penny. both running backs from St. Thomas Aquinas football team. So you guys, you guys were focused on more of winning this game and focusing one player, the best player on that team, on that defense and offense. Who would that be? Uh, number 10. He's a, he plays both sides. He's, he's really athletic. He's pretty good. So. so are you guys looking to absolutely blow out this team or kind of just just go right in there and just take it? It's always the goal to win. To go to win? Just looking for a big win tonight. Yeah, you're not looking for it to be a close game or anything. How are you going to – how are you going to – how is the offense going to thrive with him being on that side of the ball? Uh, just hopefully the linemen and slots do their thing and block everyone and we'll be fine. All right, how, how has the, the atmosphere in the locker room have been recently with the big win over Blue Valley Southwest? You know, everyone's, you know, just staying focused, locked in, just getting ready for next week, one week at a time. Next week at a time. If you are looking forward to this playoff game, who are you looking forward to play off, to playing this playoff game? Definitely St. James. St. James? Yeah, we want our payback. Again. And then after that, we would have Miege. So yeah, you know, that's just two, two tough games. Those, and how do you how do you feel you're gonna do in those both of those games? Uh, if we do what we're supposed to do and stay focused, we'll win. All right, that is a good answer. All right, thank you for watching this Halo STA halftime show. I'll be back with more for you next week with Sean and Penny. Well, thank you, Demetrius. That was a great interview. Guys, we are so hyped for football. Oh. Playoffs, the season, it's amazing. For sure. Thank you so much for watching our first ever Saints Roundup. We are so excited to do this every Friday, throwing it back to the field.